Hi everyone, it's Cobb Helps MVP Dude 808. Yesterday I showed you guys how to make a Pandora's battery, and I haven't changed it at all, and how to make a magic memory stick. I haven't changed it at all, and ultimately hack your PSP to get firmware, right? Well, let me just, uh, boot up my PSP here, just using, see no battery in there, uh, just using my uh, AC adapter, and show you what firmware I have on my PSP, just so uh, you know. Yada yada. Okay. Let's go side. Wait, wait, where is that? Okay, hold on. Uh, it's too hard. System settings. Okay, can you see that? I'm on 3.71 M332. Uh, I don't even think my webcam is good enough to show you the MAC address, but we just hide it anyway. Okay, so I'm on 3.71 M332, and I am going to show you how to go from that back down to 1.5 firmware, official firmware, and turn your battery back to normal so you can use it for normal use. Now, let me show you how this is a Pandora's battery. Let me, uh, sh shut it off here. Okay. And let me plug in my magic memory card into the PSP here. I hope this video is not too long like my last one. And once I enter in this, uh, battery, it's going to turn on automatically, okay? So ready? and it's plugged in and the battery and it turns on okay and uh, remember how this menu popped up like that yeah okay well uh, let me just take out the battery it turns on by itself you don't want to do that okay well I mean if if you want it back to normal you don't want it like that uh, what you're gonna want to do is first of all download this program and make sure you're running 3.71 m33 I think any kind of 3.71 m33 works not 3.80 M33, only 3.71 M33 custom firmware, CFW, okay? Um, you, you need that. What you want to do is download that program, and uh, or download my program that I'm going to show you right now, with the link, it's a rapid share link, oh no, 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 media fire, I think link, and uh, some other stuff, and uh, something else that I'm going to show you right now on my computer, so um, I'll see you in a bit. Uh, I'll see you when we come back to my PSP. Okay, so now uh, we're on my computer, and I'll give the link to download this. This is the link to the file in case it doesn't show up in my description for some reason. Um, it's not Rapid Share. I know all of you guys hate Rapid Share because all the some kind of enter code kind of a thing. And this site, MediaFire, scans file for viruses before, so it's clean. Okay, it's clean. Alright, so the link will be on the description on the right hand side. Alright, what you want to do is open this, okay? So you want to double click it and drag this file out. Make sure your PSP is in USB mode. Um, oops, I already have it on my desktop, but anyway, it's in my dual screen up here. Okay, anyway, go into your computer. And hopefully autoplay will come up for you, but I already took it off. Okay, go into your movable disk where your PSP memory stick is located. Now, if you open this, you'll see uh, another one of these, and you'll see recovery and update. Now, if for some reason you get confused on any of my instructions, double-click the README file, and it'll tell you what to do. Okay, so now you go into the PSP folder, and you go into the game folder. Now it's easy as pie. I'm just going to rename my update really quick so it doesn't interfere. Update... Update one. Okay, I mean just so it doesn't interfere with my magic memory card. Um, okay, so drag these and pop them in the game folder. It'll, it'll take uh, an okay amount of time. It's I mean hey, you gotta allow it to copy, right? Okay, so now it's on and now you are good to rock. I think. Um, I think you need 1.5. All right, and what is that flashing? Okay, right, all right. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this on our Sony PSP, and if it works, then we're officially on 1.5, so I'll see you right now.
Okay, so now we have all the files onto our memory stick, which by this time you want to press O to get out of USB mode and turn the PSP completely off. Take the battery and the memory stick out, so now you just have a stripped PSP, okay? No battery and no memory stick in there. Now, um, what you want to do is get the PSP charger, this guy, and the no battery and no memory stick PSP and plug it in. Okay. Now, this will only work with uh M33. Okay, with remember 3.71 M33. Now, uh you want to go into recovery mode. To do this, you power it on, you power the PSP on. Okay? And this works with or without the battery. Um turn the PSP on, but right away hold this trigger. Okay? This one right here. Oh, flip. I didn't do it fast enough. So, right when you press the power button, me show you. Ready? Power button. Hold R. Okay, there we go. Now we're in recovery mode. You probably saw me do this in my last video. Okay. Now, since we have those files, and uh, now that we have all that done, now you insert the memory stick, and make sure your battery is at least 78% charged. Okay. So the, mem the memory stick that we just took out, it's going back in, and uh, with the PSP still powered on. Now you want to put your currently right now Pandora's battery in. Okay, and when you do that, uh, this light should turn orange because it's now charging the bat. <coughs> it's now charging the battery. Um, the next thing you want to do is since you downloaded that program and put it on your PSP, go down to the second option, I believe, or the third option. And it's going to be uh, run program at PSP slash game slash recovery slash eboot dot -e Okay, so run that and press X. Now it's going to check for stuff and yada yada. Remember, this only works for 3.71 M33. Okay, so this menu will pop up and it says... Right, update flasher by Dark Alex slash noobs for noobs. Um, you are about to flash your PSP. Press X to start. By doing it, you accept the risk and all the responsibility of what happens. If you don't agree, press R trigger button. So basically, I'm going to have this too. I'm going to say it too. If anything happens to your PSP, battery, anything in this video, anything, all right, anything goes corrupt, anything messes up, I'm not going to take responsibility for it, okay? This is where it all comes down to you. If you press X, you take the responsibility to um, possibly mess up your PSP battery, memory stick, or even PSP. Okay, so let's press X. X. I press it. Okay, it's running now. Alright, now it's going to flash everything. It's going to delete the f some stuff. And then a uh, flash of some other stuff. Or, yeah, percent is going up. And, okay. Is that in? Or 35, 36, 37%. So it's going through percents right now. Okay, so remember, this is going to bring you back down to 1.5 firmware. Alright, so. Uh, from 1.5, I'm pretty sure you can upgrade from there to different firmwares. Okay. So, the reason why we made, why we made the Pandora's Battery Magic Memory Stick in the first place is so you can um, get any firmware, any official firmware, on a custom firmware without having to go from 1.5 and downgrading and stuff. Okay. Oh, the big OK says it's now finished. Now we're going to press X to restart the PSP. X. There you go. It's going to restart. Okay. Now let me bring you let me bring the camera over here. Oh. This blue screen will pop up. Press O. Is it the O? I think that's the O. Press O. Okay, and it should restart and stuff and Restart like normal, and all the
this language stuff will pop up. Hold on. You can disconnect your PSP from the charger now. Now we haven't turned the PSP battery normal yet. We've just uh, gotten the PSP to 1.5 so we can run that one thing again. I'll just skip all this right now. Okay, so your PSP is back on 1.5, like the network is gone. System settings, system information. Okay, we're on 1.5. Alrighty, and then um, now this is when you go back over to the game, and now we're going to turn the PSP battery back to regular PSP battery, okay? Now remember how we entered it into the PSP, it turned on by itself, okay? Keep that in mind. Now you want to run the Pandora's Battery Creator again. If you want that, um, and you forgot how to get it, go into my last video, and I'll show you how to get that. Okay, now this menu pops up, and it says X convert battery into service mode 1, which is the Pandora's Battery, or square to convert the battery into a normal one. Press square. It writes one serial code, and again, it's done. Now it's going to exit. All right, it will restart your PSP, or it'll do that. <laughs> and then uh, let's turn the PSP off. Okay, now it's completely shut it off. Shut off. Now we're going to take the PSP battery out. Okay, and let me show you now that when I enter the battery into the PSP it will not turn on. It's entered. See the battery's on? And it doesn't start. We have to start it manually again. Now converting your battery back and forth from Pandora to, to normal battery is very dangerous. You can ultimately, uh, I like saying that word ultimately, can uh, mess up your battery big time, okay? So don't do it too many times or else it will mess it up. Um, Alright, so congratulations, you've just now made into a normal PSP battery. Now to make it back into Pandora's, go back in here and go to Pandora's Battery Creator. If, this is if you want, you know. This is if you want the Pandora's battery back. And I'll just show you really quick me turning it back into Pandora's. Just because I'm going to turn it back. I was going to turn it back after the video anyway. Oops. By the way, look forward to my next videos. It will be on how to get a, how to upgrade from 3.71 M through 3 up to 3.90 M332. Let's turn it back to Pandora's. It's done. Okay. Alright, and then with 3.90 M332, I'll show you really cool things you can do. I'll show you how to get homebrew on your PSP and such. Okay. So now let's turn the PSP battery off. And let me show you right here that now when I enter it, it will turn. PSP on again by itself. All right, so congratulations! Uh, you just watched this video. Surprisingly, you lasted. Um, sorry, this video came out a little long. Uh, all right, so peace out. Thanks for watching.